count and write. These are the students in my class. Some girls have two ponytails. Some boys have their hair up. Some girls have only one ponytail. Whereas some boys have their hair down. So now students, based on this chart, answer my few questions. Tell me students, there are how many children with one ponytail? Let's count. One ponytail. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, and eight. So there are eight children with one ponytail. There are how many children with their hair up? Students, look at this chart and tell me. Students. With their hair up. Let's count. One, two, no, with their hair up. Three, four, Five and six. So there are six children with their hair up. There are how many children with their hair down? Let's count this. One. Two, three, and four. So there are four children with their head down. There are how many children with? Two ponytails. Let's count this. Two ponytails. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven. So there are seven children with two ponytails. Now tell me, students, there are how many children in the class? Let's count. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, and twenty-five. So there are total 
25 students in the class. Now tell me students, there are how many girls in the class? Let's find the number of girls. Girls with ponytails. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So, there are 15 girls in the class. Now, tell me, there are how many boys in the class? Students, you count and tell me. You need my help? Let's count. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 So there are 10 boys in the class. 